Hello friends, this is the second tutorial on how to create a fighting game from the scratch with Unreal Engine. Let me remind, in the previous tutorial we have added some grappling attacks and reactions to them. Today we are going to position the side view camera to make the game looking more like we used to in fighting games. And in the very next tutorial we are going to learn how to easily switch the 3D mode of our fighting game to a 2D mode, depending on our needs. Let's say we may want the fighting game to either be like Tekken or like Mortal Kombat. Just a quick disclaimer, it would actually take hundreds and thousands of working hours to create and test a production-ready fighting game like Mortal Kombat or Tekken and it would cost a company hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, if it is your actual goal, and if this is why you started watching this video, I recommend you to still follow this tutorial series to get the in-depth understanding of the principles. But, as the solution for your game, I would recommend using my true fighting game engine for Unreal Engine, which is available on Epic Store. It already implements features you may need in a AAA fighting game. You can easily manage multiple characters, attacks, combos and hit reactions through its blueprint system. It also provides a multiplayer support for local and network multiplayer fighting games. I am constantly working on improvements, so if you have an idea of your own fighting game, it is the best choice for you. You can find the link to the true fighting game engine in the description below this video. And now let's start with the tutorial. So let's first open the fighting game project for the Unreal Engine 5 that we have created in the previous tutorial. And let's run the game to see and you see the camera is not being centered both of the characters. I mean the camera is always being focused on the left player. But in fighting games we are used to see both of the characters on our screen. So we need to somehow align the camera to not get our second character out of you. To do so, let's first go to our content, third person, blueprints, and open our main character blueprint, which is named BP Fighter Character. And in the functions section at the left, let's add a new function and name it Align Camera. All right. And we open up this function. And first of all, from our components tab, we drag our follow camera to the function graph and drop it. And you know, let's better name this follow camera to a side view camera because in the future we may want to use also other cameras as well. So at the left in the components tab, we just right click and we rename and let's name it side view camera just for clarity all right and now from the side view camera we drag a connection and we start typing set relative location and we select it and let's right click the new location pin and select the split struct pin. 
all right this is because we are only going to adjust location by the y axis but the x and that axis will always be the same let's check it out what are the values for the x and that axis for now well it doesn't matter that it is currently linked to the camera boom position but we will just for now set them in an intuitive way and both of them will be constant we are not going to change them on the runtime and let's set the new location x to be 50 and the new location that to be maybe minus 14 all right remember it is the relative uh, location relative to its parent uh, so it is related to our camera boom for now all right let's save and compile just in case our editor crashes and now we are going to calculate the position of the camera so we can always see both of our fighters in the inside the frame to do so we are going to first add the link to the self the reference to self it means to the current fighter character and if you remember in the previous tutorial we have also created a variable named enemy which is a reference to our second fighter all right and we can get a distance between the both of them we just drag a connection from the self and we type get distance to I think we could use the get horizontal distance too, um, but it actually depends. Let's for now just use this function uh, named get distance to, right? And the target is our self blueprint, and the other actor is going to be our enemy, right? And now let's divide this value by two so our camera is going to be placed right between our two players yeah. and we connect the output pin to the new location y axis and we compile and save and let's now see if it does work Yeah, of course it does not work because we have created a function, but I have forgot to first connect the align camera input node to the set relative location. We compile and save. And the second thing, we currently do not call this function from anywhere and we would like to call this function on every tick in our event graph right if you remember in the previous tutorials we have already used the event tick to turn the characters face to face and now we just continue the chain and from the face-to-face -face output pin we just drag a connection and we call the align camera function All right let's compile and save and let's run the game now uh -huh. and you see the camera is somehow aligned now but it is aligned in a such way 
that when we go too far from when the players go too far from each other they are both out of frame and and the first thing we want to do is we are going to set some marginal distances when the aligning camera is working so we go back to the bp fighter character blueprint align camera and only align the camera if the distance does not exceed a specific value so let's drag a connection from from the get distance to output pin and just type less we are only going to align the camera if the distance between the two characters to fighters is less than let's say 350 all right and now let's drag a connection from the align camera pin and add here the branch and we are only going to set this relative location if this condition is true so our characters are are not too far from each other so from the output pin of this node we drag a connection of the condition pin of our branch all right and let's compile and save and let's check it now and you see some distance the camera is being aligned but when we are getting too far we can get the second character out of frame but we still have our fighter that we are controlling in in the frame you know we can also adjust the x axis position of the camera to get uh, the camera closer or distantiated from both of the player and always keep both of the characters inside the frame so let's also adjust the position of the camera on the x axis so it can move closer or farther depending on the distance between the characters we go to our blueprints folder and open the bp fighter character again uh, first of all i want to show you how we determine x axis when we are moving aligning the camera we are setting the y axis the x axis it is a relative location of the side view camera you see it at the left in the components tab and it is related to the camera boom and if we select the camera boom component you see the three axes here the green one is the y axis you can see cheat sheet here at the bottom left the red arrow displays the direction of the x axis and the blue arrow means the vertical axis the z axis so we go to our align camera function again you see to move the camera closer to the player we should increase the x value and to move it far we should decrease it but as the direction of the axis is this one to the left of the player we should actually operate with the negative values so when we move camera here closer 
the distance is increasing in the plus and when we move the camera to increase the distance you see we go to the minus position right and, and i'll just undo that and undo it one more time all right so how are we going to deal with that we could actually make uh, some geometry research you know heights of the triangles uh, and uh, it could be very useful to study the topic so you may consider this to be your homework to make it very precise but for now we are going to make it simple and intuitive uh, so we are just going to operate with uh, some constant multiplier of the distance and to set it to the location of the to the camera location by the x-axis so first as i said we first need to multiply the distance to mean to minus one because as we increase the distance it is actually moving in the at the counter direction of the x-axis right so we first multiply it to minus one and then we will also multiply it to some value i don't know but just intuitively let's set it to 0 0.3 all right and we connect the output pin to the new location x and we compile and save and let's check it out mm -hmm. you see as the characters get closer the camera is zooming and as the distance increases it is coming backwards and at the some point in our case it is remember this branch uh, the, this branch is only returns true on, on after the sum well before the sum value is reached so both of our alignment con conditions are only being performed while the distance between the characters is less than 350 all right but as you can see when we run the game the camera is pretty from the characters so let's just go to the blueprint and go to the viewport and let's select the camera boom and at the right details tab we have a variable named target arm length and let's just try to decrease it from the 400 uh, let's try 200 all right we compile and save let's now run the game uh -huh. and you see our characters are now looking better our screen mm -hmm. so you can adjust the camera boom length and its initial angles if you want to somehow change the perspective so we have just created a very simple function that aligns the camera depending on the distance between the players and in the next tutorial we will add an option to our game to make it a 2d game from it is currently a 3d like arena like tekken style you know uh, next time we will add a very simple option to switch it to a 2d mode 
and that's how actually 2D game template was acting in the Unreal Studio 4 but they have uh, for some reason removed the 2D template from the Unreal Engine 5 so in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to easily switch our Unreal Engine 5 game from 3D to 2D mode if you want to create a game like uh, say, um, I don't know, Mortal Kombat uh -huh. so that's it for today and uh, see you next time and have a nice day Goodbye.